Recently, I got a suggestion to make a video on why a moving charge creates a magnetic field. First of all, thanks for commenting. In this video, we will explore that. So, in this video, we will explore that magnetic field is just a hypothetical concept. It is a lie. It is just electric field in disguise. But before that, I just want to tell you something. The thing is that I get a lot of suggestions to make physics videos. And if I upload all of them in this math channel, it looks weird. For that, I made a separate channel named Physics or Genius, where you will find pure physics based videos in which physics is dominated and math is less. In this channel, you will also find some physics, but here math will be dominated in future videos. This video is the last pure physics based video on this channel, Mathogenius. And also I get suggestions to make study related stuff. Like I made the video on how to become a genius in maths. So people ask how to study, etc, etc. For that, with the help of some fellows, I made another channel named Study or Genius. So this won't create confusion on the journey of this channel, which I started to teach math only. So if you want to understand physics, math and also want to learn how to study, then subscribe these channels. Links will be in the description box below. So first of all, let us understand why we say that a moving charge creates a magnetic field. For that, we will take a trivial example of a wire in which free electrons are moving across a potential difference and there are positively charged immovable kernels. So we can see that the number of positively charged kernels and the number of free electrons is same. So the wire is wholly neutral. So if we place a positive charge at rest near the wire, then nothing happens and we say that we are right. We know physics. The wire is neutral. That's why it doesn't do anything to this positive charge. But something really weird happens when this charge starts to move. Remember that these electrons are also moving. There is a potential difference across this wire. When this charge starts to move, it gets repelled by this wire and we say like, what is happening? I know physics. This wire is neutral. So why this charge is repelled by this wire? So to get out of this problem, we simply say that it is the property of a charge that when it moves, it creates a magnetic field. So whenever this charge is also moving, it is also creating a magnetic field, which is interacting with the magnetic field of these moving electrons. And that's why this positive charge is getting repelled by this wire. So we simply say that this is the fundamental property of a charge that whenever it moves, it creates a magnetic field and we simply accept it. It is similar to how we accept that a charge creates an electric field. There is an electric field around a charge. We simply accept that. You can ask like why does a charge creates an electric field? And the answer is nobody knows. It is just how this universe works. It is similar to asking why anything having matter have mass like it does. This is how our universe work. This is from where we start to explain things. We can't explain these things. These are the fundamentals. And that is how we accept the magnetic field that it is a property of a charge that whenever it moves, it creates a magnetic field and force experienced by any charge in a magnetic field is given by this equation. But Einstein had a better explanation for this. He said that magnetic field is just electric field viewed from a different frame of reference. So now to understand this video further, you need to know what is relativity. So I have made three very simple videos to understand relativity on this channel. After watching those three videos, you will understand what is relativity and then you can understand this video further also. So now let us look at the same scenario from the point of view of this positive charge. Now from the point of view of this observer, this charge was moving with the speed V in this direction and the wire was at rest. But from the point of view of this charge, these positive charged kernels are moving with the speed V in this direction. 
and these electrons were flowing that's why they move with a little different speed v dash in this direction and the observer also moves with a speed v in this direction so as we know that here length contraction will take place these positive charge kernels will get contracted because they were at rest and these moving electrons will become a little far apart than these positive charged kernels and this is because there will be a net positive charge density on this wire and the wire will become positively charged and this is why this positive charge will see a positively charged wire and repel it and in this frame of reference there is no magnetic field so magnetic field is just electric field like in here just viewed from a different frame of reference now this wire is just a simple symmetric case to make you understand why a moving charge creates a magnetic field but this simple case is not the whole story because in here you saw that there is a net charge density but what if there is a single charge moving in space there is nothing to create like a charge density so will a single moving charge in space create a magnetic field or not so let us understand it so let us take a iron piece as a reference point and a charge a single positive charge is moving in space so what will happen then the thing is that the length contraction formula doesn't only apply to the charges and the space between them it also applies to the electric field around the charge so the length contraction also contracts the electric field and the contracted electric field just creates a net charge density and that's why a moving charge a single moving charge in space will also produce a magnetic field and the iron piece will get attracted to it but wait the iron piece is not moving it is at rest with respect to this charge then why is this iron piece attracted to this charge it is not moving and it is not charged also so it should not create any magnetic field right no there are moving charges in this iron piece let us take a look as we know that a atom consists of positively charged nucleus and negatively charged electrons are like revolving around them in some special atoms what happens is that normally for every clockwise electron there is a anti clockwise electron which cancels its effect but in some special atoms there is a single electron or more electrons in the outermost cell which are moving in a same direction which creates a net magnetic movement this simply means that a atom itself behave as a magnet but a really small magnet if there are a lot of other atoms with this one then they will amplify its effect to our macroscopic level for example take a look at this iron piece these are the small tiny magnets but a normal iron piece do not act as a magnet that is because there are groups of atoms a large group of atoms which have a net magnetic movement in some direction the other group have in some other random direction the other group have some in random direction and wholly they cancel each other that's why a normal iron piece do not act as a magnet but if we apply some strong magnetic field or i say that electric field in disguise then we can make all those different areas to point in one single direction and that piece will act as a magnet so there are moving charges which are adding to each other in a iron or a magnet piece which creates a net magnetic field which is just a relativistic effect so this is why magnetic field is just a lie it is just electric field viewed from different frame of reference so you will ask like why do we still use magnetic field it is simple because it keeps things simple or to just find the direction of a magnetic field you will need to apply long relativistic equations and it won't be efficient so that's why we still use magnetic field and all of its convention because it makes our life simple so thanks for watching this video of mathogenius 
do subscribe physics or genius math or genius and study or genius to get really good educational videos and always remember that math is everything